How's it going everyone? I'm going to show you proper Visual Basic layout. Now first of all what we want to do is create a new project. You guys know how to do that already. Notice the name that I'm using. I'm using my last name followed by my first name. There's no spaces. There's an underscore lesson 2 underscore herbal T. Now first off when I write when I created this name notice how I'm capitalizing the first letter of my last name first letter of my first name every subsequent word the first letter is capitalized this this is what we call Pascal case this is a key word so every name every time we name our projects we're going to be using Pascal case now when we have our form we're going to be adding some content to our form we're going to be adding some controls and we're going to be modifying the properties of those controls. First thing I want to do is click on my form. All my properties get populated. So I notice that my text property, I'm going to change that to herbal T. And then I'm going to scroll up and I'm going to change the name to main form. Notice that I'm also using Pascal case for this. Every time I change the name of the form, I want to use Pascal case. And most of the time we'll be changing it to main form. Next, I'm going to add some labels. Here we go, we added the label one. We can add another label there. Okay, we'll add a label here first, label one. Scroll down. And all we're gonna be doing with these is changing some name a name. We're changing the text property. We're, we're gonna change that to name. So when I click on it, it changes to name. Now these are I'm gonna add a bunch of informational labels and these are a little different because I'm I'm only gonna change the text property. I'm not going to change the name property. So I'm going to add those right now and then you can follow along. Notice all the labels that I added. I want you to do the same. I want you to change just the text property. Do not change the name property. Once you have added all the labels we're going to continue and now we'll add text boxes for each of these or most of these uh, labels so we drag the control to the canvas here to the form and now we make sure that the text box we make sure the text property is left blank we scroll up to the top we change the name the text box to the corresponding name of the label. Name of the label is name or the text property of the label is name. So I'm going to put name text box. Notice that I'm using a lowercase n or lowercase. I'm using what's called camel case. This is what we call camel case which is lower uh, lowercase the word, uh, ca ca not capitalizing the first word and capitalizing the first letter of each subsequent word. Okay, that's a key word, a okay, camel case. So we're going to be doing that for all the remaining uh, labels. Okay, I'm finished adding some text boxes and I gave them, I changed the uh, name property for each of them. Now, if you ever want to check out the names of your property, of your controls, go to the properties window towards the top here of the properties window. You click on the little drop down arrow and here it gives you all the controls that you have on your form along with the names. So notice how I have the address text box, city text box, decaf text box which is for here. I have name, regular text box, state and zip text boxes. So regular is for this one here. Okay, so that's a good way to check 
the controls that you have. All these other labels are the are the are these here, which we don't really give them names. We don't really care to give them names. Okay, I'm gonna add a couple of more controls here. Um, I'm under pounds ordered. I'm going to put a label. Now with this label, we're going to change a few properties here. We're going to change the auto size to false. We'll change the border style to fixed single. And we will change the text property and we'll leave it blank. We'll erase that. Oh, one more thing. Let's change the name. Let's change the name to Pounds Ordered Label. Pounds Ordered Label. I press Enter. Okay, now I have my label. Now you'll do an, you'll do another you'll do um, create a similar label here for total price. Okay, I added another label similar to the one above. This time I called it total price label. So now I want to, you can modify your form. Uh, you can increase the size here. Uh, you modify where the text boxes and labels are at. You can move them around a little bit. Try to make it look as much as you can like the one I have here. I forgot to add a, uh, another label here. I'm going to add another label here and then you guys can add it also. Okay, I added an order form label. I didn't change the name property. All I did was change the text property and I put, whoops, click on that. I clicked order, I created order form, I typed in order form. I changed the font size to 15. So as you can see, what we're doing is we're creating a form that a business can use to order herbal tea. So for example, if you're a supplier of herbal tea and you are uh, supplying several small stores to herbal tea, they can use this form to order their tea. We're forgetting one thing though. You know, we can have, uh, we need to have some buttons here. So let me add a button and then you guys can also add the rest after. So I'm going to add a button and uh, let's change the text property. We'll change it to calculate order. I'll press enter. I can increase the size there. We'll scroll up. We'll change the name. We'll leave button on there. Once again, we're using camel case, and we're going to call that the calculate button. I'm going to press enter. Okay, so I'm going to add a couple more buttons here, and you will do the same. As you can see, I'm done with my form now. I added three buttons. I have my text boxes. Now, if you want to see, let me show you what all the different controls that I have here and the names of the controls. Have all these are the, the address text box, the calculate button, here's the clear button, and here's the exit button. These are here. So make sure, take a look at this, make sure that yours is, sim is exactly the way uh, it is in my example. Once you've taken a look at that, I want to tell you something. Um, the purpose of this form is that your clients will be typing their name, their address, their city. They're going to be filling out all the text boxes, all these white ones. Now once they do this, they're going to be typing in you know, how many um, pounds of regular coffee they want, I mean regular tea they want. They're also going to be typing in how many pounds of decaf tea they want. So they're going to be typing in numbers here. So once I click the calculate order button, the processing is going to occur. Somewhere in the code I'm going to have the prices for each whether it's regular or decaf and the, the calculation is going to occur. It's going to give me the total pounds ordered 
and it's going to give me the total price. So that's why these are shaded because these are this is consider this my output. Consider these white text boxes as my input. These gray labels are my output. Okay. All our programs that we're going to be using in Visual Basic are going to have the same type of format. This is going to be our output. This is going to be our input. We have our buttons. Once we click on our buttons, there's some type of calculation that's going to happen in the background. Some type of code that we're going to be doing in the background. We click calculate order. It'll it'll populate these two labels. We clear the order. It'll clear everything. We exit. It'll close the program. Right now, we don't want to. Um, all we care about right now is to create our layout and to give proper names to items. That's all that we care about for now. So in conclusion, all we're covering today is simple layout in Visual Basic. Thanks for watching.